Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and this video is literally just the tutorial section out of my recent video where I experimented with molding in place silicon. So this video will walk you through how to uh, mold silicon around the outside of a tire to make a nice grippy wheel. So uh, like I said, this video is for this specific design, but you can also use this video to make glue in place silicon wheels like this one. Uh, the steps are exactly the same, except for instead of running the silicon into the larger mold and around the outside of the hub, you run the silicon into the smaller mold and around the outside of the kind of inner mold, I guess. So that will go together and then you'll get a silicon ring that can be glued in place to a wheel. Uh, the files for all of these are in the description. These files are on Thingiverse and these files are on my mini factory. Once again, that links in the description. And now we'll get into the tutorial. So I'm just about to set up here. Um, just getting gloves on because that is the final step. This gets really, really messy. So you definitely want gloves for this. Uh, I have silicon here, which says 100% silicon. This is a bathroom silicon, which seems to be the thing that people need to use. Uh, it has to have a certain type of um, cure, which is acetic cure. It says on the bottom down here, if that will focus up. Um, I will put that on the screen as well. It has to be that type of silicon and you'll be able to tell uh, if it's that type of silicon because when it's curing, it will smell very vinegary. So in a little while when we release these, which is like 12 hours later when you release these, if you get a really vinegary smell, that's great. If you don't, then you've used the wrong silicon and you need to find different silicon. Uh, so, and this is the, the common cause of these messing up is this silicon not being the right type of silicon. So this is, this is the key ingredient that you need to get right. Other than that, I've got some glycerin, which is sold as like hand sanitizer or like hand cleaner or something. Uh, and I've got some acrylic paint, which you only need very, very little of both of those things. So I've had these for ages and yeah, you can see I've used barely any of it. Then finally we have our molds and I also have some disposable pots here and some sticks, some pop sticks. So I'm just gonna open the silicon up and then we are going to make one of these. So really to make this, you just guesstimate how much silicon you think you need. I'm just gonna put a decent amount in here because we are gonna try and do all of the molds in the queue in the uh, semi setup time that we have here, uh, which I don't really know what it is, probably 10, 15 minutes before the silicon starts to get a little bit globby. It's probably gonna be enough for this. Uh, so then we're just gonna add a tiny amount of paint not much, just a dash. And I found that it doesn't really matter how much silicon you're using. Oh, that's probably too much actually. Um, but even a tiny amount of paint and a tiny amount of glycerin is gonna do the trick. It doesn't scale all that much. Like you can put twice as much uh, silicon in here and you still only need a tiny, tiny amount of each of these. But you'll see I'm not really being overly precise, I'm just putting a little of both in. So that's that done and dusted. And then we get our pop stick and we literally just stir. Now the point of the paint, the paint doesn't actually do anything. It is just to show you when you've actually got the mixture correctly mixed. Uh, it's the glycerin that starts the reaction for the silicon, but I don't actually think it does anything beyond getting the reaction started. Once the reaction's going and the silicon is cured, that's just that and then the, the glycerin evaporates out or something. I don't actually really know, to be honest. Um, but it doesn't affect it all that much. I've definitely put too much glycerin in before and it does thin the silicon a little bit, but not enough to uh, make huge amounts of difference. So, we are going to start by taking our pop stick. And now this you can see is kind of a thick consistency. We're literally just gonna smear this onto our part and try and force it into all of the cracks and all of the holes. Just push down as much as you can to get the silicon really in there. You will get excess everywhere. This is why you're wearing gloves. There is so, so much mess in this process. Uh, it's just, part of it, really? Well, yeah, 
and yeah, any excess you just scrape off and add back into your set for later. Uh, that's probably about enough on there. Now this one I want to put into a two-part mold, so I'll get my two-part mold, and once again we're just going to smear around the inside. And these guys, actually, the new ones probably don't need as much silicon on them as the old ones did. The smear is mostly just to get really into the cracks and into the crevices down in here as we go. You can see not putting huge amounts on, but I'm getting into those cracks because anywhere you don't get silicon, you'll get a bubble uh, when you get this mold released eventually. So there we go, just like that. It's probably actually more than enough silicon in there and we'll see that in a second because we'll get squeeze out. Um, so there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's try this guy out. Um, and we'll see if we can get this to work. So like I was saying, I normally kind of give it a bit of a bit of a twist as it goes in just to kind of even out the silicon. Now I'm going to push down and I'm going to get squeeze out at the top here. And you can see that and we're just going to quickly knock a bit, bit of that squeeze out off because anything we don't knock off we're going to have to cut off later. So and that will just about do that one and the squeeze out is good. You want a little bit of squeeze out because it means your mold is full and you will actually compact some air bubbles by getting some squeeze out. So that's a good start. All right, I'm going to make the rest of these up and then uh, we're going to come back in 12 hours to demold. Okay, so it's eight hours ish later, something like that, and these things are ready to demold. Now these aren't fully cured yet. And you can see that this stuff is actually cured and it actually peels off these bowls rather nicely, but it's still not fully cured. It's still a little bit smelly and it's still going through that curing process. So I'm just gonna try this guy first because this one I think has the most chance of being an easy to separate mold. Oh yeah, look at that. That's come out so nicely. All right, can I get the rest of this apart though is the question, maybe. Oh, there we go, ha ha, okay. So, that's come out okay actually. It does need some cleanup. Uh, well, actually I'm gonna leave these out here for another 12 hours because they still, oh, <laughs> still smell very, very vinegary. Uh, so I'm gonna leave these out here for a little while and then we will come back to this in another, yeah, eight to 12 hours, basically just giving them enough time to set up and cure properly. Okay, so here we go. These are now fresh out of the molds and out of their eight hours of extra cure time. They're still a little bit stinky, so they're probably not fully done, but they are a lot firmer to the touch. And like I said, they're. They're, they're okay. They're fine enough that I can bring them inside and not be overwhelmed by the vinegar smell. So we're pushing ahead with this. Now, uh, so we're going to clean up the flashing around the edges just with a pair of scissors. I find that a tiny little pair of scissors is best and I kind of just chamfer off the back corner. It does mean that I lose a tiny little bit of the tread around here, but a on the grand scheme of things, that doesn't matter. Uh, if I was being a little bit more picky, I would uh, use a blade and clean up these little imperfections in here, but eh, you know what, I don't really mind. I think those are all right. Uh, so, Push that's around up. the edge, and then these ones I am going to turn around and cut the silicon off the face of them with a sharp knife. But anyway, that is all I have for you this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.